My Bing Chiling Spinning Boy finally came in the mail and I know this isn't going to be easy so I watched a bunch of the YouTube videos to figure out what to do. Since this is going on my little go-kart engine, it's going to be hard to get the boost but even after I figure out how to do that, I have the fuel issue. Normal carbs don't give enough gas for the boost so I'm thinking about using a mechanical fuel injected carb to get the gas where it needs to be at full boost. I also bought a cheap welder so I can fabricate this onto the cart. This will be hard but I love challenges so stay tuned. Today I'm mounting the turbo to my go-kart and I know a lot of you are excited about this. The first thing I had to do is replace the wheel bearings because I broke the last ones driving the cart around. Easy fix. Now I'm starting to build the piping so that the engine exhaust can spin the turbine in the turbo. I'm in no way shape or form a metal fabricator but I am trying and I bought this thick steel to make the exhaust flanges. I cut out little cardboard templates of the exhaust hole on the block and mark them and then I used a jigsaw and some other tools to cut it up. Once this was made I used a cheap eBay mini bike exhaust and cut this up as well. Now I broke out the cheap Harbor Freight welder. I've never welded in my life before, so don't kill me on these welds, but it was super fun, and this will get the job done, hopefully. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna mount this to the go-kart, drive it around, and see if it spins. Over the last few days, I've been making the exhaust pipe for my turbo go-kart, and today, I'm finally putting it on. I had to re-weld some of the pipe and then re-drill the holes to make it fit right, but it's done, and now Lenny and I are connecting the turbo to the exhaust hole on the flathead block. We started it up, and wow, the turbine actually spins. I drove it around a bit to see if it makes any noises, and I know it's supposed to be oiled up. I only let it run for just about a minute. Now I gotta connect the oil lines and the intake line. But so far, so good. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to drive my turbo go-kart, and you won't believe how it ended. So last you saw, I mounted the turbo after creating a custom exhaust pipe for it, and now I'm finishing up the oil lines. I'm using a vacuum fuel pump for the oil lines, and at this point, I'm working at the parts I have on hand which means a whole lot of JB weld was used. If something didn't fit right, I made it work one way or the other. Then I used this heater tubing for the intake and I made the carb run a bit richer. Starting it up was a little bit tricky but once I got it running it worked somewhat. At wide open throttle it feels a whole lot faster but maybe that's just because it's louder. I did a few runs up and down the street and then the wheel snapped off. Not only did the bearings pop out but the wheel itself just blew up. This turbo project has been really fun but I think it's time to turbo a bigger engine. Stay tuned, this is only the start.